Uh, here I have uh, my thermostat and I'm going to go through how to wire up a, a typical thermostat um, at your house. So, first of all, here's a thermostat. Normally, a thermostat, you can pop it open from the back. There's always a way to pop open these thermostats. And, um, Thermostats requires batteries, so some people might not notice, but you will have to replace your battery for your thermostat. Of course, if you use an old mechanical thermostat, then those don't have batteries, but all the digital thermostats, they all have uh, batteries. So if we zoom in real quick. All the way in. You can see wires and I'm going to show the wire diagram right here. Okay, as you can see on the wire diagram, there are mainly red, yellow, white, and green. So you can see on here we have red, RH and RC, RH, uh, red heat, RC, red code. The red wire is, is uh, uh, connects all the way to uh, the furnace at the um, circuit board, at the main board over at the furnace, and I'll show you where it goes to. But that red wire always has uh, 24 volts. AC um, and sometimes it might go from 24 to 26 volts but basically it has about uh, uh, 24 to 26 volts AC so the furnace gives 24 volts right here to um, uh, to the thermostat what the thermostat does is whenever you want it to be cold or hot it relays this 24 volts back to the furnace so white is actually uh, heat for the furnace, it kicks on the furnace. The yellow wire right here, yellow, is uh, for your code, for your AC, it kicks on the AC, it tells the condensing unit to kick on and what well, sends a signal to the circuit board and the circuit board tells the condensing unit to kick on. And finally there's a green wire. The green wire is for your fan. So. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, when you uh, test this, well, when you want to replace it, uh, there's like typically two screws mounted to the wall. So take these screws out, and then I can pull the thermostat out. And then these wires will be hanging right there. And the way to uh, uh, to put in a new one is just disconnect each wire one by one with your screwdriver and reconnecting it back to the, the same uh, alphabets uh, on your new thermostat and they typically has W for white um, they have Y for yellow G for green RH and RC meaning that it's uh, for your red so uh, that's the basic way how you set up your thermostat, but I want to go a little bit even further in this video and explain how does this voltage work. So I have my digital multimeter right here, and I've set it to uh, uh, AC. So you're going to see AC down here. Right now it's zero volts. If I take this panel. I can see right here that if I want the fan to come on, I switch this uh, to the left. Right now it's on auto. So what happened is this. If I touch this pin right here, um, you can see that some voltage is going on. It says it has about four volts. The reason why my digital multimeter would say it has four volts it's because um, it's kind of AC signal. You always can can uh, pick up pick it up pick up the signal, but it, it depends on where my reference uh, 
location is because I don't have any ver reference location on here so it's referencing four volts to the air so we can ignore that for now but basically we know that there is some voltage on there and I know it's going to be about 24 to 26 volts so if I measure uh, because AC is off right now if I measure any other place like white right here for my furnace you can see that it says 27 volts right here if I measure my yellow you can see 27 volts and if I measure my green you can see again 27 volts so the reason why you can see a voltage difference when it's off is because there's a voltage drop the circuit hasn't completed so there's a voltage drop so I know that I'm getting voltage from my uh, my furnace at the circuit board I know voltage is coming into the red and I know that my return signals uh, are grounded correctly so when I turn on let's say the fan it will complete the green uh, circuit right here for the relay right there so what happens is that it should just go straight to zero volts because the circuits completed so there's no voltage drop so watch it's 27 volts if I switch over this to the left the fan just kicked on and you can see boom zero because it's short circuited over so there's no uh, voltage drop and you can hear the fan blowing um, and if you switch this back to auto there's no more um, and this goes the same with the AC so let's measure uh, yellow right here that's for AC and I'm going to touch the red again so you can see there's a 27 volts and if I switch it to AC it's going to take a while to kick in boom the fan just kicked on I mean the you can, I can hear the AC kicking on that went to zero volts and of course the fan is kicked on right now so that's zero volts right there too so there's so that's how I know that my thermostat is working right here I have the furnace the furnace uh, of course comes at the bottom right here this is uh, where the furnace actually is the middle part right here is actually where the uh, uh, evaporator coil and the blower is located at for for my AC and then the bottom is for my heat so let's open this panel up real quick you can see the furnace right there and if I open up the top here you will see the uh, the main board so after you take off the panels of the furnace you can look at the controller board and here is the controller board and right here you can see the wires that we just went through we have yellow wire green red white and red and of course the red is um, the 24 volt supply out and here's where it all connects to that's pretty much all I have to say about thermostat and how to rewire them where do, where do the wires go to at the main controller board and um, right here I have the diagram at the end just so you can see it one more time uh, good luck uh, replacing your thermostat and troubleshooting it if uh, something goes wrong